Carlos says, what are your thoughts on bots like three commas or the ones on KuCoin? Yeah, I mean, look, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of bot strategies out there. And, and honestly, although there are a lot of scammy bots, and that's why I kind of generally tell people to stay away from it, there, there are some very valuable ones out there that will um, do automated trading strategies, things of that sort. There's one big thing, though, that trading bots in this case fall short on. If you're in the United States, I know a lot of our users are in the U.S., um, or, for example, if you're uh, in most you know Western countries, the problem that you're going to run into is that with a trading bot, if you're you know, a law-abiding citizen, you're gonna have to pay taxes and keep record of all those transactions. And the problem with that is that any gains that you should make with a trading bot, most of them, uh, unless they're buying something and holding a position for more than a year, at that point, it's really not a trading bot. Um, you know, you're gonna be paying short-term capital gains um, versus long-term capital gains. And in the US, that can mean in this case, that you're paying uh, effectively 30, um, if not more than that, 40% tax gains on any returns you make off of your original cost basis versus long-term capital gains, which would be more around 10 to 20%. So even if you have a trading bot that might you know, get good returns, the two things that hit my mind are, is it better than dollar cost averaging? Most of them are, surprisingly enough. That's the thing that a lot of them don't tell you. And outside of that as well, are the tax obligations going to make, even though I might be able to make more returns, if I consider tax obligations, it might make uh, the uh, sentiment of doing anything outside of dollar cost averaging less favorable. So I don't personally use trading bots. Again, I'm, I'm a big believer, putting my money where my mouth is. Um, in this case, I don't do any trading bots in this case. So um, yeah, again, I, I would say stay away from it generally, but there are some cool platforms where if you know how to back test strategies, you can, you can definitely build them for sure.